So how can how I'm gonna try this stuff out? Lord mercy, I go spot girl. Get in your lane. I'm claiming it that this year is the time to. Good morning, guys. I'm getting ready to go to work. I have to be there at 11. It is like 10 40 maybe. But I'm trying to hurry up and heat this up and then get on the road. <laughs> Now I'm walking to work. I kind of parked a little far, but there wasn't no parks on the street. So I found one that was free for two hours, but you gotta have like a residential pass, but hopefully they ain't checking for that. They ain't gonna know. So y'all, so I gotta walk like two blocks and then I'll be at work. I just got off work and I'm on the way home. I ordered a flash drive to like connect to the phone and I can connect to whatever device that I'm using to try to edit my videos because this airdrop stuff is not working anymore. And that's one thing like that I was just messing me off with editing because like I always record on my phone is transferring the footage to the computer and stuff because and I drive be tripping sometime. And then of course storage, but like the external hard drive works perfect, but just technology just be tripping. But yeah, work was I, right. I'm training for a server this week besides Sunday. I, mean, I already have serving experience, all of the above. But in order to be a server here, you gotta train and work all these other positions or whatever. Like I've been working as a host did back waiting I did food running one day and then now they finally want me to serve because I, I applied as a bartender because I've been bartending for over a year some change now and literally at my old job I was a bartender and some days we didn't have a server so and this restaurant was small but I was bartending running my food cleaning my tables serving the people taking the orders making drinks like setting the table back up. I was doing everything, so it was like, I already know how to do it, but I mean, you gotta start from somewhere, I guess, when you do new things. But yeah, and they, um, like at first, cause like as a host, you can wear whatever you want. Well, it has to be like, um, it has to be business casual. Well, I wouldn't even say business casual, but like, dress nice, you know, whatever. So then, So like recently they changed the dress code for the servers and back waiters. Every because like at first I was wearing like a black long sleeve or whatever and black pants, like yoga pants or like straight leg like sweats or whatever. It ain't look bad. Um, still look presentable. Anywho, um, so now they want us to wear like black slacks and these black like button ups that we had to go get ourselves until for the time being until we get our shirts full that has the logo on it so i have these pants on y'all these are like some skinny um slacks that have hold on. oh you can't even tell i have to show you later but they have like gold zippers on each side they're real nice like it's something that you would wear to work like i've worn this in a corporate setting multiple times and the owner whatever he says that I can't, there's something wrong with my pants. I can't wear them. And I also said something about my shoes. I had my Doc Martens on because they won't none slip what these are. And I just, me personally, I just always have, I just have a problem with people 
telling me things, especially like people that's in authority. Well, they won't, they have a problem with something that I'm doing or whatever the case may be, but go through somebody else to tell me and then don't give an explanation. I don't like being told things without an explanation or a reasoning or why or the alternative to what, you know. Because I ask, I say, what's wrong with my pants? They're literally slacks. They're just straight skinny. Like, they're literally slack material. And I was like, also, what's the difference between my pants and his pants, which is the somebody else that worked there? He had skinny, skinny jeans on with Doc Martens. So I said, what's the difference between my outfit and his? Like, literally. And the manager was like, well, yeah, you're right. It's nothing, you know, different about it. And then somebody else also had skinny pants on. So I'm just like, what's the difference? Like, what's wrong with my pants? Like, and I already had trouble finding a sh button down shirt. Like, me, I'm not paying $25, $30 for no shirt or no pants. Like, and I couldn't even find no slacks. I got this from Goodwill. It's a nice shirt, $6. But I'm gonna have to go to Goodwill and look again for some pants, like, cause the last time I looked, I didn't see any. Well, it wasn't what it wasn't any of my size. And I, I, to me, I just think it's just too much. Like, if you want somebody to wear a certain thing, like specifically, you need to provide that. That's how I feel about it. Like, um, I'm gonna eat my food and chill, cause. So I finally made it into the crib. I'm gonna insert a picture of what. I have on like my pants. I mean, you can kind of see, but so y'all can see what I'm talking about. And y'all tell me like if I look unprofessional. I guess I don't know. I really don't even know what to call it or how you think I look. I don't know. But y'all tell me if this is not restaurant appropriate. And mind you, we're like a fine dining, but we're not fine dining. If that makes sense. Maybe like in the middle, but we're not fine dining. So yeah. Y'all tell me, like... <sighs> so, they didn't have anything in there. Well, they had some slacks, but they were skinny leg. The ones that I already have. So... I didn't get them because I wasn't finna waste my money. If I were to get them and be like, yeah, they slacks, and they're gonna tell me they're not, that I wasn't finna waste my money. So I'm gonna try to find some relaxed fit or whatever. Some goofy looking at shit. And <laughs> Anywho, yeah. And it's not even raining, y'all. I could have walked. Well, it's supposed to rain at six, and it ain't six yet, but I kind of figured once I had walked over here and walked and began to walk back, it was gonna rain, but. Yeah, I could have walked, but now I'm gonna try to go to another Goodwill. I mean, I don't know what else to do. So let me search it up and I'll get back to you guys. Bro, the closest Goodwill, well, I mean, not the closest, but the, well, the next closest Goodwill is like 35, 40 minutes away. And it's traffic right now. I am not doing that. I'm sorry. I'm not. I don't know how to go somewhere else. I really don't know where else to go, but because I'm not, I'm, I'm telling you, I ain't trying to pay no thirty dollars for no pants. Like, you feel me? And plus, I'm gonna have to get like two pair, and I'm not paying sixty dollars for no dress pants because I don't wear them. Besides to work, and they gonna like they don't give go by. $30 pants when I got pants at the crib. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they just don't get. Oh my God, somebody just crashed. Can y'all see it? Lord have mercy. <laughs> These folks driving a little crazy today. Yeah, they wreck and they car tow up. That's probably total, like, real bad. But I'm on the way to Rainbow. Hopefully, they got some slacks. I don't know. All right, I'm pulling up. I'm over here by the uh, CVS I was at the other day. And I be coming over here sometimes to go to TJ Maxx, but I did not know Rainbow was over here. And I also didn't know it was a Burlington. Well, I don't know. I did. I probably knew that. I just didn't remember. But if they don't got nothing in Rainbow, because I know it's going to be cheaper, I'll have to go into um, TJ Maxx. If they ain't got nothing in TJ Maxx, then I'm going to go to Burlington. All right, is y'all going? Okay. I think that's that that's the daggone woman. I just seen, it's this woman right there. I um, 
we went when I first moved, me and my family and stuff, we went to this taco spot. Girl, get in your lane. We went to this taco spot and long story short, something happened with my mama food. It was like some plastic or something. I don't know, it was something in her food or something like that. So the manager came. The manager came and stuff, talked to us. Long story short, my dad was like, yeah, my daughter need a job, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yeah, I need a, uh, I'll apply for the bartender position. So she gave me a, um, she gave me an application. She was like, yeah, of course, you know, we're going to, I'll call you in a couple days, blah, blah, blah. Girl never called me. I seen a girl, me and my boyfriend, we seen her, seen her at this uh, restaurant. It's across the street from my crib and it's new. And she's like, oh my gosh, hey guys. Yeah, I'll be calling you. They never call me. Because I filled the application out and everything. Like, never got anything back. So, I filled the application out at the restaurant we were eating. So, but whatever. But yeah, I had just seen her. So, I'm in Burlington. I don't do a medium. It's kind of too big. But, what y'all think? To put a belt on, but like they're long. Like, like legging material. Like all these pants nowadays are like that. I don't know what you want me to do. Like I'll have to order something. I don't know. These are too big, bro. I could flip them over and I'm pissed. I can't find anything. There was nothing in there. And it's about to rain. It's getting so dark and it's thundering. So. Luckily, I'm not to leave. <laughs> so I'm supposed to be going to work, but then I know I told y'all that I couldn't find any pants yesterday, so <sighs> no dress pants or whatever. That's not tight. All the pants gonna be tight on me, like on my legs. I don't know what. And I can't wear no big, too big pants. That's just me. Anywho, I called my manager. He was like, oh, well, you own um, training for morning shift, so try to go find some again and come in night shift, <sighs> which I don't want to. I want to get, out, get this out the way, like, and I don't know. We'll see if I can find some. Try to Walmart. All right, so I'm finna leave. I'm finna burn my shoes, because if I find some, I'm finna go, because I don't want to go for night shift. Cause I work night shift the rest of the week. And I'm bringing my belt because I'm going to put this belt on and if they got a problem with it, they ain't got no swag. Period. I do not see no dress pants. I see some black skinny jeans. <laughs> Like, what? Let's keep it a bug. Let's see what these are. Jeans. Yoga pants. Jeans. I'm gonna try the men's section. Hopefully I find something that fits. We'll see. These are cargos. Can't wear those. Are these flex? We'll try. Let's see. So how can how I'ma try this stuff on? Lord have mercy, child. So I can't even get into their dressing room. She barely speak English and talking about they I don't know what's wrong with her key. I need to find somebody with a key that works. Or I'm finna go in the bathroom and try this on. But I'm not gonna lie, this ghetto and I am very irritated one I'm irritated because they're taking too long two I don't want to go to work at 4 30 like oh irritated when I show y'all these pants first of all I have to go to the men's section and the smallest size that they had was a 30 30 look how these look like he didn't really want me to go into work looking bummy. And it's just irritating. Like, I got my homeboy pants on. Like, I got a geeky suit on. Like, I'm finna go hit a lick or something. 
not wet your table. Like, I look goofy. Then I think, because I was going to put this belt on with it to jazz it up some, but it won't even fit because it's, the, it's so many belt loops. And the pant, the waist is so wide. Like, look at how much room I got. You can tell this one for a dude. Like, I definitely forgot to tell y'all that. I don't even know if I did. I tried some pants on in the bathroom. Then a woman talking about, oh, they don't like for you to take merchandise in there. I said, okay, well, y'all fitting rooms don't work. I don't even know what. another external hard drive and it's time to get to editing like y'all don't know how bad oh i gotta go to ups to return that thing forgot y'all know i had got that um that flash drive that mm -mm, that ain't work so i just need to go back to my old faithful and get in my external hard drive so i was gonna get it back off amazon um, cause I was looking at some other ones and stuff like that, but, um, a lot of them weren't compatible with Mac and, and I know you can have, you know, you have trouble with that. So I looked at the one that I had already purchased, which was like three years ago and I love it. Um, it, uh, it, I was trying to get something like same day delivery or like at least two days. That thing wasn't going to get here until about three more weeks. So I was like, oh no. So I just typed it in Google and luckily they had it in Target. So I went to my nearest Target. I only had one left with a, a two terabyte. And so I got it. So I'm excited to start editing because like I have to get these videos out. Uh, my goal always has been to uh, ah! my goal always has been to
get monetized on YouTube. And like I've been on YouTube since 2017. And I always had the subscriber account, the enough subscribers that I needed, but I never got the watch hours. So I'm claiming it that this year is the time too that's gonna happen. And yeah, cause I make good content. I always make good content, whether it was hair or like vlogs or whatever. And me, I am very authentic. I'm not faking the funk for nothing. I'm not that aesthetically pleasing person that all y'all and y'all mama want to be. And like, I mean, it's cool. It's very, you know, pleasing, but that ain't me. I like to do real life stuff. I like to show real life stuff. Like, I don't like to fake the funk. I'm very real and authentic. And I like that about me. And if you don't, bye. <laughs> Say nah. But I think I, I will. I hope that's why you guys you know like my videos and stuff so yeah